Welcome back to Goof Squad Gaming. We're playing Clash of Clans today. Wee! And guess what? We're going over how to use hogs. Um, yeah, we basically got obliterated in our war, but there was a good learning experience. Now, it's on this base here, which it's not like your best hog base, but this is why I wanted to show a tutorial on how to use hogs, because... There's some, some people don't really know how to use hogs perfectly, and you will learn after this video, I promise. So, let's take a look at this base real quick. One of the number one things for hogs now is the double giant bombs. So you have to look at the base and see if there's any spots for double giant bombs. At first glance, you can see this whole upper area here it won't even fit one giant bomb. So that's a pretty good start. The only concern for double giant bombs, that even down here, there's no spots for giant bombs. So this automatically makes it a option to hog. Now the biggest concern is in the middle here. These could be double giant bombs or they could be hidden Teslas. The other spot that they probably would be in is in between this expo and over here. Those are probably the double giant bomb spots. So if you know where they're probably going to be, then that helps you when you're attacking with hogs. So that's step one. Step two, just like any other attack, you want to clear out the clan castle. But looking at this base, it's kind of hard to clear it out because if you send in hogs right over here, they might not get inside the circle, which won't really activate the clan castle. So that's a no-no. So you're gonna have to do, you have to be a little bit more creative on how to get this clan castle activated and get those troops out of there. That's step two. Now, step three. This Archer Queen. Archer Queens basically destroy hogs because they can shoot and blast them from long range. The Barbarian King is slow and stupid, so he doesn't really do much to hogs. But the Archer Queen, step three, if you want to do a really good three-star hog attack, is you want to take out the Archer Queen before you send in your hogs. And she's kind of vulnerable in this base, so that's what makes it a pretty good hog base so I'm gonna show you I did an attack I only got two stars but it was a 96% if there are a couple things would have went my way it would have been a good three star but I'm gonna show you we had one other person in our uh, clan that attacked the same person with hogs and I want to show you here wait that's not it here we are okay you guys ready pause real quick so he's got five barbarians 10 archers 41 hogs i'm not sure what's in his clan castle a lightning spell and three heals so right away where does he come in from right here see this is what i was talking about it's not inside the circle for the clan castle he was hoping it would be but since it wasn't that really hurt his attack i'm sorry bud it didn't happen so he went ahead, he started, I don't know, attacking right here, I think. And we'll just see what happens when he sends in all his hogs. Speed it up a little bit. So he tried it one more time, and it didn't work. Tried it again over there, still didn't work. He's got these little skeletoy boys. Okay, so he had like five wizards in his clan castle. Now pause. He's doing the uh, two groups attack style, which is pretty good. But the only problem is, he didn't clear out the clan castle, so here comes the wizards. He tries to zap them, but they're not grouped up, so it doesn't work. Everything's not going ham. The art, oh, the barbarian king's smashing them. Archer queen over here is shooting everybody. This is not going well. And he had 40 hogs. Oh, nuts. I mean, see, look at those clan castle troops. They're just killing everybody. Now, what's good about this is because he attacked first. I knew that the double giant bombs weren't in the middle. There were just four Teslas, so they're probably more than likely, 100% likely, right here and right here. So he got 30... 8%? 6%? I 
Yeah, look at those troops are just killing everybody. 38% no stars. Oh, it happens sometimes. I'm sorry. Oh, someone's attacking right now. No thanks. We already lost big time. All right. So let's go in and look at the attack that I did. Pause. Now, if you remember my three steps I was talking about, step one, the giant bombs, we already know they're in these lines right here, not in the middle because the first guy attacked. Step two was to clear out the clan castle. And step three, kill the archer queen. So I'm going to show you how I did that. I brought a golem in my clan castle. All right, and I dropped him right there, some wall breakers. I did this so and some wizards behind so he can get in there and they can clear out the clan castle and kill the archer queen all in one attack it's perfect i only had a level one golem in there so if it was like a level four or whatever it would have lasted longer but it did the job we killed the archer queen here comes all the wizards step is doing very well so you use her ability so she doesn't get blasted and I also have one Valkyrie that's going to come in and chop up those wizards. Perfect. Now, time to send in the hog army. I brought 31 hogs. They're going to be coming up here soon. Oh, I wanted to show you. We missed it, but that Valkyrie went over there and she triggered these two double giant bombs. Which was very good. I'm glad she did that. If there's any point in in your attack where you can trigger double giant bombs, that is an A plus method. So here they come. Let me speed it up a little bit. I'm bouncing off, I put in some wizards in the background to clean up. There they go, double giant bomb with a heal spell. They're going ham, they're going ham. This group over here got destroyed, which is sad, but there they go, there they go, there they go. Another heal spell, there they go, there they go. So we got the wizards up here shooting the town hall. There's no defenses left, so that's good. Okay, this is where if this would have went right, I would have got a three-star attack. This their enemy barbarian king is going back this way, and my king is right there. Now, for some reason, they just cross paths. Why don't they attack each other? If they would have attacked each other, I would have killed them. And this all would have been good. Ah! This would have been a good three-star attack, but no. He has to go over here and kill my wizards and my arches. Ugh. I'll speed it up for you. At this point, it's like, oh, man, I don't know if I can get three stars. I've got, like, one hog left, a barbarian king. Uh, and he see up there, he kills off all the squads. So sad. And that's as far as it gets, 96%. So if those two kings would have engaged in battle... I would definitely have gotten a three star, but see those two differences in the hog attacks. If you don't clear out the clan castle, if you don't kill the archer queen, and if you don't know where the giant bombs are, your hog attack will probably fail. Doesn't matter how many hogs you bring, if they're maxed or whatever. So if you want to use hogs, use those three steps, and I promise you will do well in the battlefield. So that's it for today's video on Clash of Clans. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.